Where did the secret rapture doctrine originate? The secret pre-tribulation doctrine is not found in the Bible. So where and when did it originate? You may be surprised to learn that it wasn't until the early or mid-1800s that there was any significant group of believers around the world that looked for a rapture of the church prior to a seven-year tribulation period. The secret rapture teaching was not taught by the early church. It was not taught by the church of the first centuries. It was not taught by the reformers. It was not taught by anyone except a couple of Roman Catholic theologians until about the year 1830. Its origins. The Roman Catholic Church had to come up with a view of prophecy to counter the historic view of prophecy that the reformers had used to identify the Church of Rome. The little horn of Daniel, chapter 7, the mouth of Revelation in chapter 13, and the harlot of Revelation in chapter 17. This new scheme of prophetic interpretation became known as Futurism. It was a Roman Catholic Jesuit priest named Ribera who, in the days of the Reformation, first taught that all the events in the book of Revelation were to take place literally during the three and a half years reign of the Antichrist. Later, Emmanuel Lacunza, also a Jesuit priest, built on Ribera's teachings. He spent much of his life writing a book titled The Coming of Messiah in Glory and Majesty. Lacunza, however, wrote under the pen name of Rabbi Ben Ezra, supposedly a learned Jew who had accepted Christ as his Savior. He did this so that the unsuspecting Protestants would accept his book, for the Protestant world then wanted nothing from a Jesuit. His book was published in 1812. Now enter the name of Edward Irving. Born in Scotland in 1792, Irving discovered Lacunza's book and fell in love with it, translated it into English, and it was published in London in 1827. Then Irving began to hold Bible conferences throughout Scotland, emphasizing the coming of Jesus to rapture his church. Later, J.N. Darby was introduced to the secret rapture doctrine by the Irvinites. The Irvinites were the followers of Edward Irvin. They also introduced to him the famous book by Rabbi Ben Ezra, which is, if you recall, the pen name for the Jesuit priest Emmanuel Lacunza. Darby was himself a prolific writer, and from that time a constant stream of propaganda came from his pen. His writings on biblical subjects number over 30 volumes of 600 pages each. Darby developed and organized futurism into a system of prophetic teachings called dispensationalism. The secret rapture teaching was introduced into the United States and Canada between the 1840s and 1870s. A Congregationalist preacher by the name of C.I. Schofield came under the influence of Darby and the Plymouth Brethren. Schofield became a strong promoter of the teaching that had been promulgated by Darby, whom he considered Quote, the most profound Bible student of modern times, unquote. Schofield incorporated this teaching into his Schofield Reference Bible. Three million copies were published in the first 50 years. Through this Bible, Schofield shrewdly carried the teaching of the secret rapture into the very heart of evangelism. Many of your modern Baptist pastors rely heavily upon Schofield. There is one final link in the chain of development and spread of the rapture theory that should be mentioned in passing. Schofield and Darby influenced D. L. Moody. Moody was influential in the early Pentecostal movement. 
How, you may ask. The Assemblies of God are today by far the largest Pentecostal denomination in the world. In 1914, they ordered their Sunday school and study materials from the Moody Press. So the Assemblies of God believed what the Moody Bible Institute taught, which included the secret rapture. And so it is today. Great numbers of churches have discarded the historic teaching of the church concerning prophecy and have replaced it with a concept invented merely to deceive.